This program is brought to you through the support of the following sponsors. A very pleasant day, friends. Welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron De Los Reyes, and today I'm coming to you once again from the beautiful Baguio City. And the truck beside me just came from a grueling drive from Lake Tabeo in the town of Cabayan in Benguet. It was a beautiful drive, very challenging, not just for the vehicle, but also uh, for the driver. And we enjoyed that drive tremendously. Today we focus more on the details of uh, the Mazda BT50 Pangolin Edition. This was launched on the first anniversary of uh, the Pangolin 4x4 in November of 2022. This was launched in Bacolod City. Now we have it in the metal uh, right here in Baguio City. Of course, we drove this from Pasig City going all the way to La Union, and then Baguio, and then to Cabayan in Benguet. Before we go on to all these, let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our Auto News Update. In the news, the first 5km section of NLEX connector between Caloocan and España interchanges has achieved substantial completion and is scheduled for opening within the month. This was announced by the Department of Public Works and Highways, the grantor of the NLEX connector project during the final inspection of the road led by DPWH Secretary Manuel Bonoan, Department of Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista, Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation President and CEO Rodrigo Franco, and NLEX Corporation President and GM Luigi Bautista. The inspection was conducted as part of regulatory requirements to ensure the safety and convenience of the motoring public. Now 98% complete, the NLEX Connector España section is expected to reduce traffic congestion in the city of Manila, such as España Boulevard, Abad Santos Avenue, Rizal Avenue, and Laxon Avenue, as it will divert trucks and other vehicles from the capital's major roads. The elevated expressway is being eyed to provide greater access to several areas in Manila, including the University Belt. Designed to cater to all vehicle classes, including trucks, the four-lane NLEX connector intends to stimulate economic growth by significantly improving the mobility of motorists thus boost overall productivity. Around 35,000 vehicles daily are anticipated to benefit from this new road that is seen to provide infrastructure support to decongest local roads and enhance the operations of various businesses, especially those in logistics sector, as cargo trucks can pass through the road 24-7 without having to worry about truck ban.
In other news, BDO is offering its Deals on Wheels promo at the Mall of Asia in Pasay City. One of the vehicles in their lineup is Cherry Auto Philippines' Cherry Tigo 7 Pro Crossover. The Tigo 7 Pro is currently Cherry's best-selling vehicle model. It is tech-laden and has a lot of comfort, convenience, and safety features. Hi there again, friends. Tapos si Ron Velasquez. I happened to pass by uh, the Mall of Asia and uh, there is an interesting display here of uh, the Tico 7 Pro vehicle. The video has uh, their exhibit here actually. Of course, you have the Tico 7 Pro which is uh, offered by uh, Cherry Philippines. This is a very interesting uh, SUV or crossover. And I had a chance to test drive this and I was really impressed by the features of the Tigo 7 Pro. The technologies there, the convenience features inside, and uh, the design is, uh, of course, very impressive. And I also noticed that uh, if you take a look at the roof, they have an accessory uh, which is known as the crossbar. Nauso na ngayon yung mga overlanding, camping, and if you have that kind of a crossbar, it's uh, very easy to install the roof rack or even a roof tent. So for the more adventurous type, I think this is highly recommended. Auto Review continues. Last week, we brought you the highlights of our challenging and classic drive to the Cordilleras with Lake Tabeo in Benguet as our camp destination. Today, we zero in on one of the vehicles we used, the Mazda BT-50 Pangolin II Edition. Welcome back to Auto Review and we come your way every Saturday from 2.30 to 3 p.m. on the People's Television Network PTV4. And also, we're on YouTube channel Auto Review Philippines and uh, watch out also for other uh, reviews on uh, YouTube. And uh, let's take a look now at uh, the Mazda BT-50. This is the grill. Doesn't that remind you of the Mazda CX-9? really looks like an SUV. The grille, of course, uh, is very familiar. You have uh, the uh, daytime running lights here, uh, and then the fog lamps, and you see the, the hood with its flowing lines going up to the windshield and uh, to the roof of uh, the vehicle. It's a good-looking pickup truck. We proved, of course, its uh, reliable performance on that arduous uh, drive to Lake Tabeo in uh, Benguet. And uh, we go around and uh, take a look at the wheels. And uh, now Mazda already put the Pangolin uh, logo on the mag. And uh, the tire is a uh, Dunlop uh, 8025 with an 18 inch rim. You, you also have this uh, pair of uh, standard step boards. Opening this uh, vehicle is uh, easy with your remote key or you can also press this uh, black button over here and then open open the car. Right here is uh, a new design for the uh, rear roll bar. Gives you a more solid uh, stance uh, on the side uh, for the uh, Mazda BT-50. And then you have uh, the bigger uh, taillights. Of course, this is 
also part of the uh, BT-50, which was uh, launched in uh, November uh, 2021. Now this part is very interesting. You have a covered uh, pickup bed and then a lockable uh, tailgate and again, wider stepboard uh, for the rear. Oh, a lot of stuff uh, right here. So the good thing about uh, having a cover for the pickup beds that you can put in as many uh, stuff as possible at uh, the rear. We just came from a camping trip to Lake Tabeo. So you see some of our uh, stuff uh, right here, a folding uh, cot and then uh, the folding uh, mattresses and then uh, we have extra water uh, right here. Alam niyo, dati rati, mabigat ito eh. But uh, this has a lift assist. So you don't have to struggle carrying this uh, tailgate. And then opening it is also easy. There, it's not heavy. And the good thing is, uh, this is very light because of the assist that uh, Mazda introduced for the tailgate alone. This can be Open. This is called the revolver type of uh, pickup bed uh, cover. So it doesn't use any motor. So the space at the pickup bed is really preserved. You can use the whole space in the pickup bed. And uh, this is operated uh, manually. So that means that even if you have not started uh, the engine, you can still operate this revolver uh, type of bed uh, cover. So it says here BT50 and then the Mazda logo and then the 4x4 which we proved very capable uh, during that drive in uh, Lake uh, Tabeo. Now you also have the third uh, brake light right there uh, making it uh, more visible to the other uh, vehicles at the rear. On top of the roof is a pair of uh, roof rail. It's uh, a little bit hidden but uh, you can put a roof rack or even a roof tent over here with some uh, modifications. All right, the Mazda BT-50 is uh, powered by a three liter turbo uh, diesel engine uh, capable of 190 horsepower. Uh, very powerful, especially on those uphill uh, climbs. The beautiful cabin of uh, the Mazda BT-50, you have the brown leathers all around and also black leather covered uh, steering wheel. Very sporty, you have the controls for the audio entertainment system and also for the cruise control. Ito tamang tama lang yung size no, of the video monitor. You have the vents uh, for the air conditioning. There's also a vent uh, here at the rear. You have vanity mirror on the visor, which is uh, very good. And uh, it's also available on the passenger side. You have your reading glass or shades, uh, storage right here, a pair of uh, map lights and uh, then controls for the air conditioning and uh, here for the uh, audio entertainment. This is uh, the control for shifting from 4x2 to 4x4 high or 4x4 low. Whatever you need, uh, it depends on uh, the terrain of the road or the off-road. And then the USB port, you can also put an adapter here for additional charging ports. This is a very nice uh, stick for the shifting from uh, park to reverse or neutral and drive. This has a six-speed automatic uh, transmission and some controls here for the hill assist and also for the vehicle uh, stability. You have storage here for your other stuff. Of course, we use this uh, two-way radio during the drive to Lake Tabeo and then you have a storage here right here and uh, also for your uh, manual 
and other uh, documents. This uh, vehicle uh, comes with a lot of uh, storage, uh, which is ideal for those uh, long drives. And uh, grab handles, I, I really like this because in other uh, trucks, you don't have this grab handle on the driver's side, you only have it here. So now that you have uh, two, it really makes sense uh, to, to have this for practical uh, reasons. Anyway, both handles are very uh, practical. Okay, let's take a look at the rear. A very uh, spacious uh, cabin right here. I was in that position earlier as a driver. Now I still have uh, maybe 10 inches from my knee. Good uh, headroom and again the handle right here and also a bigger uh, handle here uh, for, for the passenger. And you have uh, seat belts uh, for uh, the three uh, passengers, including the one in the middle, but uh, if you're only two, you can put down this uh, armrest with two bottle or cup holders, very practical. You have a USB port right here and also air conditioning vent, small uh, storage here, maybe for small items. This is simple but very useful, like if you want to hang uh, something uh, here, there's a hook there and there are pockets also at the rear so what more can you ask for uh, the bt50 offers comfortable ride uh, not only in front but also at the back if you notice it has a wide uh, seat right here so it makes it uh, very relaxing uh, for the occupants at, uh, at the rear Here are the other safety features of uh, the Mazda BT-50. Now here's our car price watch for the Mazda BT-50 4x4 Pangolin Edition and the other variants of the Mazda BT-50. If you enjoyed uh, watching or listening to us in this uh, review, please uh, subscribe uh, to our YouTube uh, channel, Auto Review Philippines, for more of our car reviews. And we would highly appreciate it. And uh, of course, Auto Review comes your way every Saturday, 2.30 to 3 p.m. on the free channel, PTV4. To our what's new, the new third generation Range Rover Sport was launched this week at the Solaire Resort and Casino in Pasay City. It redefines sporting luxury, effortlessly combining assertive and instinctive on-road performance with trademark Range Rover refinement progressive design, sophistication, and connected convenience. A suite of powerful and efficient powertrains includes six-cylinder extended range electric hybrids, a potent new V8, a mild hybrid six-cylinder petrol engine, and six-cylinder diesel ingenium engines.
pure electric propulsion will be introduced in 2024 as Land Rover continues its electrification journey. In essence, I think what you need to understand is this is our kind of our most dynamic Range Rover in the range. So this is about on-road performance, but it's also about comfort um, and sustainability with our plug-in hybrid version. Depends really what you're looking for out your car. But this is about more about the people that want to drive their car than be driven. This is one of the key differences about Range Rover Sport. In many ways, we've, we've followed that philosophy like we did with Range Rover. So we've cleaned up the body lines. There's less of them. There's less kind of clutter in terms of the external styling. Yeah, we reduce the shut lines and we've got away with some of the embellishments that were on. So the doors, for instance, now have no tops. Yeah, there's no rubbers along here. It's just flush up to the glass. That's the kind of thing when we talk about reductive and the same inside, less is more. Big screen, we're not lots of buttons. And noise cancelling is still on this, on the high-end sound system. Here's our car price watch for the new Range Rover Sport. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank Mazda Philippines for providing us our test vehicle this week. The Mazda BT50 4x4 Pangolin Edition. And we certainly had a great time driving this for about uh, 380 kilometers from uh, Pasig City all the way to Kabayan in the Benguet at uh, Lake Tabeo. And we're just here in Baguio City for an overnight. The Mazda BT50 is a very reliable pickup truck and it's fuel efficient and it's very comfortable inside. It's uh, like riding in an SUV. Until next week at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po.